Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create text field in Flutter and how to get the user input value of the text field. Text fields are mainly used to get user input value such as username, password, and so on. Flutter provides text field widgets that could help you easily create a text field by just adding the widgets in the widgets tree. Now when we hot restart the application, as you can see, a text field is created and we can add a padding to the text field widget so that it don't fill up the whole row space. Next, I will be showing you how to retrieve the input value of the text field by the user. Let me now create a button that will get the user input value and reflect it in a text widget below. And in this user input string variable, I will set it by default to an empty string. And I will pass this string variable into the text widget below and it will reflect the user input once we click on the button. So next, we can start create the function for the submit button to get the user input value. To get the text field value, firstly, we need to create a text editing controller. Each text field widget should specifically assign to a unique text editing controller. This is because text editing controller helps you to identify which text field you currently appointing to. Once the controller created, we just have to assign the text field controller parameter to the controller that we created. Now in the elevated button widget on press function, we just need to update the user input string variable to the controller.text. And controller.text will help us to retrieve the current state of the text assigned to the controller. Now we can do a hot restart and try it out in the simulator. In the text field, I will add hello world and when I click the submit button, the hello world updated the text widget below. And this is how we create text field and get the user input from the text field in Flutter. You can try out yourself by adding different text or any random text, it will retrieve the same value below. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.